Okay, let us talk about utility programs. Utility software performs specific tasks usually related to managing a computer, its devices or its programs. These programs assist in the smooth functioning of the computer system and help it to perform better. Some utilities help you to avoid virus attack, take backup of data, recover data that has been accidentally erased, etc. Antivirus, backup, disk repair, file management, compression and network programs are some examples of utility programs. You can buy various utility programs from the licensed computer stores. Some utility programs are also available free of cost on the internet. Students know the fact Samor Robinstein founded MicroPro International Inc. in 1978. MicroPro developed the WordStar word processor. Network Utility Network Utility checks the network connectivity and configuration of network devices. It also examines the network speed and performance, monitors network traffic from the console and tracks the bandwidth usage. File Manager File Manager Utility helps the user to perform various operations on files such as viewing, editing, copying and deleting. It also helps in managing files and folders and organizing them in a computer storage device. Disk Management Disk Management Utility enables a user to view and manage the disk drives installed in a computer. It can be used to partition drives, format drives, assign drive letters and much more. Scanning The act of examining the computer system, drives or file for possible virus or malware attack is known as scanning. Scanning is done by using antivirus utility. This utility provides protection to your computer against virus attacks. It includes tools to recover lost files and protect your machine against system failure. You should keep on updating your computer with the latest versions of antivirus programs from the internet to ensure that it is able to detect and fight every incoming virus threat. Examples of antivirus software are QuickHeal, Avas, AVG, Norton, etc. You can scan your drives, pen drive, and entire computer system using the antivirus software. Backup This is a process of recovering data in case of damage or accidental loss. Occasionally, a hard disk may fail, resulting in the loss of all files stored in it. Hence, an intelligent user keeps a backup of his files on various secondary storage devices, such as CD, flash drive, etc., so that the original files can be restored in case of such failures. Data loss is very common and has caused serious problems for many organizations and individuals. Hence, it is essential to have a regular data backup from time to time. To access backup and restore utility, go to Start then Control Panel and click on the Backup and Restore option. The following window will appear. Click on the Setup Backup icon. Window will start the process of backup. The Setup Backup dialog box will appear on the screen. Select the drive where you want to save the backup of your files and then click on the Next button. The next screen appears that prompts, What do you want to backup? 
You will notice that the Let Windows Choose recommended option is selected by default. If you continue with this option, computer takes the backup of all the data stored in your computer and also creates a system image which can be used to restore your computer if it stops working. You can also opt for another option. Let me choose and pick those items which you want the computer to back up on a regular schedule. After selecting the desired option, click on the next button. Here we have selected the first option. The next window prompts you to review your backup settings. Now review the backup job and make sure everything appears correct. Here you can also schedule the days and time on which the backup occurs by clicking on the change schedule option. Click on the save settings and run backup option. The backup process will start. Compression it is a process that shrinks files so that less disk space is occupied. The files that are bigger in size needs to be compressed while sending an email attachment. These files cannot be read directly and must be decompressed to their actual form before use. Examples WinZip, PKZip, 7-Zip, etc. Language Processor Each software is created by writing programs in computer languages. Some of the popular computer languages are Java, C and C++. As we know that a computer can understand only the machine language which comprises zeros and ones. Therefore, programs written in these languages cannot be recognized by a computer. Here a language processor plays a vital role in translating the programming language into machine language. Assembler An assembler is a translator that converts the code written in assembly language into machine language. Interpreter an interpreter translates the program code line by line and simultaneously executes the converted line. If any errors are found, it displays the error and does not proceed till the error is rectified. And then repeats the procedure for the remaining instructions. Compiler a compiler is a translator program that converts the whole program into equivalent machine code in one go. It generates the object code for the program along with the list of errors.